Hey there, uh, Transformer fans. Uh, this is BAS, uh, BAS 1994 TF Boy. Um, so, today is Memorial Day, and I kind of have a special treat for you guys. Um, for this Memorial Day, I will be showing you my entire collection of Transformers. So, uh, fair warning, if some of them may look broken or missing a few parts, there are two reasons for that. It is A, some of them might be when I was back when I was way little and uh, I didn't know how to transform them so they broke off. Or B, some of them came from uh, some other places and uh, some of them might have been hard to like uh, fix. So um, for some of them who are broken, I just kind of either still use, if they can be still usable, I can use them. But some, if some parts like their legs had came off, um, that would be because, uh, I don't know, like, um, I have no idea, but I could, I still use them for, like, other things. So, let us start with this. Now, over here is my, um, entire Unicron, you see. On the one to the left, like right by my bedroom door, is like the uh, Armada Unicron. He is fully complete, along with Energon Unicron. And on the top is a, well, custom made that I made. Like, he was already in pieces before. I mean, some of his pieces were missing, but I kind of unscrewed um, the head to take it off, you know. Like, he's still transformable. I can, like, transform him into an Armada planet and, like, pretend into his planet mode and pretend like Autobots attack Autobot and Decepticons attacked and uh, he got blown up and was left in his planet mode all broken up all right now here is my Revenge of the Fallen Devastator along my bedside yes he is fully complete and I have seen some transformer videos of how to transform him now under here is a special class that I would like to call um, the Terracons. This is actually a race of Decepticons, ancient Decepticons, like some from before, who like uh, betrayed their Decepticons for Unicron. Well, as I see it. Anyway, you could see like uh, Thunderwing, Generations Thunderwing, Unicron, Armada Megatron. Like in the back, you can see uh, the an Insecticon, Cyclonus, um, Revenge of the Fallen, Bludgeon. Like right there, you can see his shoulder. Shoulder, like Galvatron, um, Sideways, and stuff like that. Another Cyclonus. Sorry, that's Devastator. Here is more of the Terracons, like the Terracon Generals. Like, I could have put in Scorponok and... Uh, Energon Megatron. Notice that he has uh, um, Energon Galvatron's cannon and sword. Um, this actually Energon Megatron was like my first Transformer. And uh, for all the people out there who kind of didn't like the Energon series, um, please don't leave any bad comments because I was kind of a fan of them. Like. The Energon series was like my first Transformers that I've ever seen, so um, when people say how much they didn't like it, and even how the writers didn't even like it, um, well, that kind of lo a little upset me because, like, I hope, well, like, maybe if I was the only one. Anyway, getting sidetracked, sorry. Down here is like the uh, Predacons, like, you see Robots in the Skies and Megatron, um, a Japanese figure, um, I think, I forget. Cybertron Beast Mode Megatron, Animated Waspinator, Arm Animated Black Arachnia, Beast Wars, Tamf Anniversary Tarantulas, and other people. Like, uh, well, this is only like, ha this is probably not even half of the collection so far. So now, I will show you the entire collection. This will be like the first of the Decepticons. Which are in these three bins. 
every single Decepticon. So like in this first bin is like uh, my Cybertron class Decepticons. Like these are only Decepticons that I would think would transform into Cybertronian vehicles that are not Earth-based. Um, if you see Galvatron, our Energon Galvatron, that's because without his wings, it's because they broke off for some reason. I was trying to transform him one day and uh, they just fell off for some reason. Reason? I have no idea how that happened. Anyway, you see like two, s you see like uh, Soundwave, Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. I've actually have two of them. Um, like I used them as like Decepticon warriors, along with um, Megatron. Uh, Star Wars drone got in there. Sorry, Laser Beak. Um, I think animated Cybertron Megatron's in there somewhere. He's probably down at the bottom. I don't know where he is. Oh, wait, I think I see you. No, that's Strepticon. Sorry. But, if you guys want, I'll be able to do a video of him as soon as I find him. Let's just put that under the bed. Hang on, let me just move my computer. Ah, here we go. Alright, now here is all of the... Decepticons that can transform into Earth vehicles. They're like the Deluxe, Deluxe, um, Cyberverse, Legends, Scout class, like lower than that. And like here, you see like some like Brawl, um, the, yeah, well, I don't know how Matt that got in there. Well, actually, quick story, um, you see, I would think that, um, this guy, Generations Megatron, would actually make a good appearance as uh, Megatronus, like the Fallen, you know, like in his prime state before. Anyway, you see like a bunch of figures, like this is just a bunch of figures and stuff like that, like, uh, okay. Like you see some prime figures in there, well, like only one prime. Anyway, now here is the entire from Voyager up to leader class from leader class you see Lugnut Blitz Armada Lugnut Blitzwing uh, War Machine Dreadwing like a few Megatrons a few Megatrons Dirge Demolisher Shockwave like you even see one like many of these guys funny story the first movie, Megatron, kind of took me a while to transform him. No, wait, that was Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Like, he was kind of hard to transform. Like, first time, I kind of had it hard with it. In fact, a few months later, I kind of figured out that his waistline can actually fold down to, like, into his vehicle mode. Funny story. Alright, so, anyway, that was the Decepticons. And now, the Autobots. We'll start on, on, we'll start on this shelf, like here is one of my favorites, um, Transformers Cybertron Primus, which I thought was a cool because, like you can see he's a planet, like I'll be doing a review of him later in the year. Um, this guy, um, Op Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime. Which I just got, which I had got for Christmas, and uh, here's somebody that I recently just got from the Toy Vault. Um, Transformers Beast Wars uh, Death Charge, and yes, he is complete except for his instructions, which I found out to be very lucky, very lucky indeed. And over here, well, he this guy was like one of the first Transformers I ever got from the Toy Vault, um, Vector Prime. Notice that that sword is actually um, Darkness Megatron, Armada Darkness Megatron, or I think Shadow, I don't know. But you see, he actually came like this. He was on the shelf like this. I could never find um, his parts for it. So, uh, yeah. And uh, like right here next to the Empire State Building is the Matrix of Leadership. Uh, uh, Cybertron Earth. All right, now on to these. In this first one, like you can see, uh, 
Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire, um, Generations um, Wheeljack, you can see some Prime figures. Um, there's Bumblebee Prime, um, Blur, Roadbuster, Topspin Cup, and a bunch of few weapons and parts, like uh, a few of them. Um, oh, in the back you can see, well, sort of in the back you can see like animated Ratchet. Next one, down here you can see Prime Optimus Prime. Uh, Prime Optimus Prime, like a few Dinobots. You can see Prime animated Prime uh, Hoist from the Armada. Um, RC. Um, you can see uh, Prowl in the back. You can see another Optimus. Like a few of Optimuses are in here. Um, see Scattershot and a few other figures that I'll be doing someday in, in the year. Here is animated Bumblebee. Now, uh, I don't know if I got the bad one because, like, his arm would always fall off. Like, no matter how much rubber band or glue I put on. Anyway, quick thing. Sometimes, some Transformers, like, if I can't put together or they've broken off parts, I sometimes either glue the part back on with glue or, uh, put on uh, a rubber band on it which um, sometimes doesn't work so uh, if anyone else has a um, if you could like uh, tell me another way I could do it um, that would be good because like I just don't throw them away because like they're like uh, very precious to me anyway in the back you can see Jazz from the movie Jetfire from Armada Inferno from the Energon, another Jazz, Ratchet from Animated, like another RC, Optimal Optimus, and uh, Sentinel Prime from the Animated. Now down here, you can see Retgar from the uh, Animated. Um, you can't really see him, but you can see his legs. Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, Generations. Um, Prowl, and uh, I have two of him, well, Universe, Generations Warpath, and uh, Revenge of the Fallen Atmosphere. Now, Atmosphere, if you look very closely, you can see that that part is broken. I don't know how it happened. Like, one day I just found his wing broken. I'm like, what the heck happened? Anyway, under this back is a custom made thing I kind of made. Yeah, hang on. Uh, this sword, which I made from Lego, kind of made from a uh, uh, robot from the robots in disguise uh make the blade of the blade of the matrix or something i can't remember the name but uh it would be only used by a prime and i thought well maybe optimus prime could probably use it so anyway here i think is the maximums yeah here we go maximums like these are going to be some figures i'm going to be doing someday there's a uh, optimal optimus which i got the only thing missing from him is his shield, but other than that, he is fully complete. Um, there is Rhinox, and uh, I can't remember the snake. I mean, I saved his file, uh, well, saved uh, his picture and named it, um, but I can't remember his name, and I can't pronounce it. So, uh, but he's really rare, like a friend of mine had him, I'm like, oh, that's cool. So anyway. Down here, we have, well, you know, I'm sorry, sometimes these, give me a sec, I'm sorry, it's just sometimes these drawers can be very jerkish, like, uh, they can be real, they can be a jerk, so anyway, down here I have, like, the Cybertron, Cybertron Autobots, like, uh, sort of, I mean, you can see Bulkhead, Prowl from the animated Metroplex, um, Omega Supreme from the Energon, uh, Cybertron. You can see Blur. Well, I kind of thought, well, since the animated um, figures kind of look like Cybertron figures, like I know Optimus was a Cybertron figure, but like Bulkhead had two of them, so I thought, well, maybe use that. Also, you see a new figure that I just got this weekend, uh, Cliff Jumper from uh, Generations. Quick thing, uh, his wheel is kind of wobbly, 
like his right wheel so yeah I'll be fix I tried to fix it but it's kind of unfixable sorry I kind of know my room's a mess now in here is uh, some trailers from like uh, Cybertron, Armada, and Energon. Energon, and you can see Creos of Sentinel and Bumblebee. Like right there. 